Hello, I'm Pastor Kruger from Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Findlay. This week we're celebrating the ascension of our Lord Jesus. Go back a hundred years, and if somebody was going to take a big trip, like maybe trying to cross the ocean, that was a very emotional thing. A time of departure could have a lot of tears because that person who was leaving for a job or maybe to become a missionary or something else, you wouldn't see them again for years, maybe never. Yes, it was not like what we do today, where if somebody flies across the ocean, you could pull out your phone and talk to them, or even see them right there on your, on your cell phone right away. Or they could fly back, of course, if they wanted to. They didn't have that possibility. This COVID has also caused a lot of tears at departures. Somebody wakes up in the morning, and in an hour they're in the emergency room, and all of a sudden they're separated from their family. They're not able to see their loved ones. A lot of tears that this disease has caused. At the ascension, Jesus left this earth, not for a hospital, not to go across the ocean. Jesus was going to heaven. His disciples, I'm sure, had some tears. They were sad that Jesus was leaving them. But Jesus had joy. Jesus assured them before he left, I am with you always to the very end of this age. Jesus left because, in a sense, his work, his bodily work on this earth in person, was done. Jesus had lived a perfect life to replace all the imperfection in our lives. He died to pay for all of our sins. He rose from the dead and was seen alive so that we would know that there is life after death in our future. Now, Jesus could leave with his body with the certainty that we, his followers, would carry on his work, letting the light of the gospel shine to all people around us. This, I'm sure, was a time, though, when his disciples, well, felt sad. Jesus was there. He lifted up his hands. He blessed them. He ascended up into the sky, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Jesus wasn't there anymore to teach them, to explain what was going on, to bodily heal people right in front of them that they could see to just share a meal with them. Jesus was gone, but he said he wasn't really gone. In fact, he was still with them every moment of every day. And this wasn't like we sometimes say that we are with somebody in spirit or we think that I feel that this person is still with me. Sometimes after someone dies, we might say that I feel that the person's still there with me. And that's a good thing. We're really remembering that, and the memories are just filling us with comfort of that person. But Jesus was not just a memory. Jesus was actually with his followers, and Jesus is with us even today. Jesus is taking care of us, and he's continuing to counsel us. Every time you read the Bible, or go to a Bible class, or hear a sermon, Jesus is speaking to you. He's giving you direction as to what you can do He's giving you comfort when you feel guilty or when you feel afraid. Jesus sits down for a meal. We call it the Lord's Supper because it is his meal. Outwardly, it's just a little bit of bread and a little wine. But with Jesus' words, this is actually his body and his blood. And with his body and blood, our sins are forgiven again. And we are assured that we have life forever and we're strengthened to continue to serve Jesus. Jesus is also with us in so many ways that we can't even imagine. Making the forces of nature work out, restraining the evil people and evil forces all around us as he protects us, as he guides us every day. Jesus is continuing to watch out for us, even though we so often forget that. Surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. That's a Bible verse that if you were confirmed in a Lutheran church, you probably memorized years ago. But it's also something we can so easily forget. One pastor compared it to a document that you might save on your computer. You probably don't, though, very often go in and type the words to pull up that document on the screen. And so you can forget what's actually written there. You maybe remember an old church sign that you've seen some variation on that says something like this. If God isn't with you like he used to be, he's not the one who moved. There's some truth in that. God actually is with us, but if we don't recognize it, 
It's not because he left us. We need to remember what God has done. Remember how Jesus was born on this earth to be your Savior. Remember how he died for you. Remember how he rose from the dead for you. Remember that he ascended on high so that he could rule over all things for your good. And then trust him. Believe him when he says, Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Amen.